We're going to talk about persistent versus non-persistent desktops next. Now, this is something that's changing very rapidly. Um, and the nomenclature can be very confusing, and it all depends on the engineer that you talk to. But we're going we're gonna to take a high-level view of this, and um, we're going to go a little bit deeper in how we explain how VDI and DES work. So when you're running a virtual machine or a virtual desktop, your desktops are really split into three sections. Top section is your data, like Office your files, your pics. Then you have the next section is your profile. What's your name? What are your settings? How do you log in? What access have you got within the network and within the system? And then on the bottom, we have applications. What are the applications you're running? You're running Photoshop. You know, um, are you running Microsoft Word, Slack, or any of the applications or QuickBooks, right? So there are two concepts that go into when, when you're using a desktop, you're using all three of these layers, and it looks like um, there's no, it looks like they're all meshed and combined on your laptop or on your desktop. But really they're three different layers, usually three different servers. Okay? So there and now these can be split into two different kind of desktops. They use this data in different ways. And there's a reason for that because there's some customers need strong laptops or strong desktops that have a lot of power. And there are some who like aren't those kind of power users. They're just using Microsoft Word or a web browser. So for the persistent laptops, you have a user. And uh, that user has all three of these layers are all on that one virtual machine. They all have access to their apps, their data, and their profile. When they log off this machine and they log back on, they have their apps, their data, and their profile just how it was when they logged out, specifically the apps. That's a persistent desktop. Now, non-persistent is very similar, but with non-persistent, when you log out, ha, your apps, like the folders and the cookies and your cache and all that junk that gets stuck on the back end, that all goes away. And when you reboot, it starts up new. It's like a fresh new laptop. Now, your data goes back in. Your profile information goes back in. But your applications reset, and everything starts from scratch. So what this does is it allows uh, these laptops can uh, run faster. They utilize uh, fewer resources. Um, in fact, let's talk about a few of the benefits here. For the persistent desktops, these are used for the power user. Their application settings are saved. And you're going to use these if you're using like AutoCAD or if you're doing video. You need those applications. You can't have them reset each time you start up. You need all those cookies and all the memorized things still in those applications. They require more storage and backup. And it takes a lot longer to load your machine when you start up. But it's like, it's like you're owning your own laptop. It's, it's more of a laptop feel. It's like more of a desktop feel. Um, and this is what VMware was built on. That being said, VMware can do both very well. Now, on non-persistent, this is so that profiles can be saved to a different server than the computer. Uh, you're using that same image over and over and over. And you can still save the basic settings, you know, like uh, your bookmarks and how you use your Word. You can save some settings up here in your profile. Uh, but your junk files are erased. They boot up faster. They're easier to patch and update, right? Because it's all just from that same image. You just change that one image and everything changes. They're far more secure, and it's cheaper to store the data because uh, you're only storing uh, these two layers, and this last layer just reboots every time. So that is persistent versus non-persistent desktops. can be kind of confusing if you really understand the concepts. One's for power users. One is for not. It'll be easy to remember.